And Dougie, were you always um, an advocate for eating less meat? Or, or did you watch the film and did it, did it change the way you think? Uh, no, I, I've, I've, I say struggled. I've been vegetarian off and on for, for years. I've now been vegetarian for about seven years. Um, I've tried that twice before in my life. In the early 90s, I was a, 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 a convert to the kind of slow food movement. Mm -hmm. Um, buying like the hand reared, you know, the, the beef that gets read bedtime stories sort of stuff, you know. Um, but you know, the, the, sadly, it would appear, um, I'm no expert on this, but it would appear that, that that's a bit of a, a kind of false dawn as well, because not only does it make the, the products incredibly expensive and elitist, um, but it, it, it appears not to have much help with the... Um, the issue either it still yeah. takes a lot of resources to, to to grow food that way and what this film has done to me and has been happening in the last few months is I'm, I'm now kind of realizing that I, I've got to make a move towards veganism and I think I have yeah. and it's like tough that yeah. that's from vegetarianism to that is a big it is a big jump mm -hmm. um, but when particularly this this film I'm in when it asks you about, you know, why would you be, why would you be drinking baby, baby cow juice growth food, is what yeah. one of the doctors calls milk, yeah. you know, because it's that's what it's for, it's to make cows grow to, cows grow to huge cows, not to make me, yeah. You know, anyway, that's a so yes, yeah, it has had an impact on me. In that.